when the readings on the load pin from the validation process are outside the plus or minus 3% tolerance range, it must be calibrated to bring it back into tolerance. Recalibration takes place while the load pin and the measuring head are in the test stand. After the recalibration is complete, the load pin should go through a full validation process again. Pressurize the hydraulic system so that the cable has enough tension to hold the measuring head steady. Now remove all the screws and carefully take the covering off the load pin as shown in this video. This is a picture of a typical circuit board inside a load pin. POTS or potentiometers are variable resistors. They are used to adjust values displayed on the panels. There are three adjustable POTS on the circuit board inside the load pin. The shunt, the gain, and the zero POTS. The first adjustment is a zero POT. With the cable slack, adjust the zero POT to zero. Next, pressurize the system so that the top panel reads 10,000 for our example in this video. Note that the pressurization value depends on the load pin that you're testing. Next, you'll adjust the gain pot to match the top panel's 10,000 pound reading. Then take the system back down to zero and set the shunt cal pot to 10,000 also. Finally, repressurize the system so that the top load cell panel reads 10,000. Note the reading on the bottom panel. If the bottom load pin panel is within plus or minus 3% range variance of the top panel, then the load pin is properly calibrated. For instructions on how to operate the panel itself, see the instruction manual for each panel. There are adjustment screws on each of the pots. They are covered with a silicone rubber compound material called RTV. RTV keeps the screws in place after adjustments are made. To make adjustments you'll have to peel the RTV off the screws on the pots. Use a small straight screwdriver to adjust the pots. Turning the screws clockwise increases the values and counterclockwise reduces the values displayed on the panel. This is how you adjust the pots to get the necessary values for the system calibration. Now release pressure on the hydraulic system and repressurize to where both panels read at least zero. Now zero out both panels. Now pressurize the top load cell panel to 10,000. Note the reading on the bottom panel, which is 80 above the 10,000 on the top panel. 80 is less than 1% of 10,000, therefore it's within the 3% tolerance ratio. This means that the load pin is properly calibrated. After calibration, the load pin with its new settings should go through the three-step validation process again to assure accuracy. After the load pin has been validated, cover the screw heads with RTV and replace the load pin cover. Performing a T-test. A T-test is a well site pre-job validation test. On the panel, zero out depth and tension and then press T-test. That value should be approximately 10,000 pounds depending on the load pin. This verifies that the signal is going out the panel, through the cable, to the load pin, where the resistor is at, and then back to the panel. 
It verifies that all components are online and the signal is passing properly. It also verifies that the panel can be zeroed.